What is going on everyone? I'm Adriano and this video is about how to join two VAX data frames together based on common attributes. This is my first tutorial on camera, so let's see how this goes. All right, so as you can see, I'm in my Jupyter Notebook here. I've already brought in my two data frames that I want to join. So I got data frame one here. It has five columns and I have data frame two, which has ID and category. So we're going to be using the ID column as the common attribute to join them together. So what we're going to do is call our first data frame. So DF one, and we're going to use the join method. And now we're going to pass in our parameters to make this join happen. So the first parameter is going to be the data frame that we wanted to join to data frame one. So it's going to be DF two. And the second parameter is going to be which parameter you're going to be joining on. If your columns are exactly the same, you can just use the on parameter and we're going to pass a string of ID. So uh, that's going to be this column here that is going to join since they're the same. And then the third parameter is going to be how the join is going to be performed. So it is called how. And we have three options. We got a left join, we have an inner join, and we have a right join. So the left join is going to add all rows from the left data frame and add the column from the right. So you might get missing values. So let's just give this a run and see what happens. As you can see here, I've added the new column from data frame two, but these records didn't actually have anything from it because we only have 50 records from the data frame and my data frame one has over a thousand. So my rows are blank for the sample records that you see. Now, if we do an inner join, it's going to keep rows that match from both the data frames. So you now see only 50 records being returned. But however, now we see that category ID is being filled for all of our records. And finally, we have a right join, which is going to keep all the records from data frame two and only records from data frame one that match that criteria. So it's kind of like the opposite of a left join. All right, there you go. You've seen the three different ways of joining your data frames together and we've successfully joined our data. I'm going to throw a little curveball that happens a lot. You might get two data frames or two data sets that have the same columns in it. So what happens um, if we try to join two data sets with the same column? So uh, I actually prepared another data set here, which is data frame three, and it actually has the same columns as data frame one. So let's just change our join a little bit and see what happens. So let's just make that an inner join and give that a run. Uh, oh, so that did not work. We got an error. We got column name collision. So animal exists in both columns and no proper suffix given. Okay, so how do we fix this? Well, we can actually pass in another parameter to make sure that the names are unique. So we can pass in the L prefix and this will add a prefix in front of the columns in data frame one. So let's just say left underscore. So we know that it's coming from the left hand side and give that a run. So it now worked, it didn't fail. And now we have our columns from the left hand side that have left in front of it and nothing from the ones from data frame three. So that's great. So we now have our data sets that have successfully joined. We actually wanted to have a prefix in front of the columns from data frame three. So we can actually do that as well. We can pass in our prefix and we can make that equal to, let's give that right underscore. And now if we give this a run, we now see that the columns from the data frame three, which was the one coming from the right hand side, now have right underscore in front of the columns. So there you go. We've successfully joined our data together based on a common attributes. And we're even able to join our data set when we had duplicate columns coming through. So I hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to join your data in a VAX data frame. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. See you next time.